I have bought more of the Irishman's Brew. We have top of the morning tea. This is Long Island strawberry flavored. There's instructions on the side here. Place a tea bag in your favorite mug. Bring water to a boil and pour over your tea bag. Steep for a good three to five minutes. Remove the tea bag. Enjoy your leaf soup. You can actually see that. It says that right there. Um, and I think on the back it actually... Oh, it says on the side here, leaf soup for those on the road to inner peace. I, I just love this. They even added like a teacup and the little four leaf clover on the top there in the design. This is just nice. This is just good packaging. Um, this is going to be the first tea that I try for these videos. I am historically not a tea person. I prefer coffee. Whoa, the sun came out. Did you see that? Uh, I prefer coffee. Tea has just never tasted good to me no matter what I do to it. Um, so here's hoping that the sweet sips of a delightful green tea with bits of ripe strawberries and papaya uh, helps me get to a point where I like tea. <laughs> or at least this tea. Because I will buy this if it ends up uh, tickling my fancy. I just want to get the box open here. There we go. Ooh, tea bags come in a nice bag. Yep, Long Island, Long Island strawberry, silver pouch, and plant-based pyramid tea bags are 100% compostable. This, this is good until I don't I don't know if you can read that, but it's good till 2025. What the fuck? All right, so let's. I'm just gonna go ahead and crack this open right now. Is this, is, oh my god, I might have to, uh, give this a little bit of a surgery. Oh, okay. Alright, didn't want to open it from the side, but here we go. And, ooh, ooh, that smell is so good. And it smells, of course, like, uh, strawberries. Pyramid design, huh? Okay, how do I... There we go! Hey! Look at that! Camera... There we go, camera focused. Nice little triangle shaped tea bag. Oh, it smells so fucking good! Alright, well... Let's go select a mug and put some water on to boil. So we've already got some water in a pot. So we're gonna go ahead and just turn this to, let's go high. And then, you know, the water will boil. And then we'll put it in, let's do this uh, forest mug. Why not? See it when it start, stops boiling rather, or when it's done. So the strangest thing that I've had to do today, granted it's only 1.30, but I've been up since seven, New work schedule, everything's fucky. The weirdest thing I've had to do today is Google courthouse floor plans. So I know how to accurately describe them because I'm recording uh, the next episode of my D&D podcast today. And my players will be uh, trying to find a missing mechanical man. And I'm going to lead them to um, a courthouse. This isn't spoilers for them because this video is probably going up... Uh, well after we've recorded the episode and released it. So uh, they're going to know by the time this goes up. Uh, I learned that some courthouses call their main foyer or their lobby a logia. L-O-G-G-I-A. And yeah, that's just a word I've never heard before. I thought it was loja, like the actor Robert Loja. But apparently it's not. I think it's logia. Could be wrong about that too, but nah, we'll find out in time. But yeah. Just thought I'd share that bit of interesting information with you. Here we go. It's off. Take it. Take it, take it, take it. Ooh. Hot handle. Hot handle. I need... A pot holder. Gotta protect your hands. There we go. Bring it over here to the mug. I already have the tea bag in. And... Work carefully. Yep. 
Yeah, what do you know? That was enough. Put that back on the stove so it can cool down. And we'll let that steep for three to five minutes. All right, so here we are and, oh, it smells, it smells so good. Um, so, uh, the British people watching this video, if there are any, are gonna be very angry, um, or even British Canadians or French Canadians. Uh, people who drink tea regularly. I don't know if you keep the tea bag in while you drink. I'm assuming not, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, let it drain, let it like, just get the moisture out of here. I have a couple of napkins nearby that I can set this in. So, let me just go ahead and uh, just set that there. It's pretty wet. Um, I also have sugar here in case I've, because I'm going to try it with without sugar first and then with sugar. It's still boiling hot mug of tea. I did burn my tongue, just a little bit, um, but you know what? I have a spoon here. I'm just gonna that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It definitely smells more like strawberry and papaya than tasting like it, but oh no, there's some strawberry taste. I am pleasantly shocked. Like I've said before, I'm not usually much of a tea drinker. I like, actually, I'm not at all a tea drinker. Oh geez, this, uh, these napkins did not contain the moist that well. Uh, that's fine. As long as none of it drips down. So I'm gonna go ahead and add three spoonfuls of sugar, just to prove to you that I'm not lying. A one, a two, and a three. Just three, just to start with, just to see what happens. I know typically green tea is drank without sugar, but I figured I should give it a shot. And if my camera dies, I can switch to my other camera. Because I'm seeing right now the battery readout is low. All right, just give it a couple of stirs. Feels like all the sugar is dissolved, so. Man, tea with sugar just doesn't taste great. It doesn't help the flavor much. But it makes it a little more tolerable to me anyway. Wonder if this has cooled down at all. Not really. I think I actually like it without sugar if I just sip it with sugar it's um it doesn't help but um I would say that pleasantly surprised me I was not going in expecting it to really really like it but uh I do and I highly recommend if you're a tea drinker go out and get some I think it was $16 on top of the morning.com could be wrong I'll throw a screenshot here and that is indeed where my camera died. Like I said it would, and also I'm trying to block the window because otherwise, wah, so much light. Anyway, go get some top of the morning tea. It's pretty dang good. Um, don't put sugar in it though. Ignore that. Ever since recording this video, I've discovered that putting at least one and a half teaspoons of sugar in the tea actually makes it taste quite good. Anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, 
please consider subscribing. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.